Okay, so we have our equation set here. Um, the ones on the bottom, or the ones with just one letter, are always going to be the easier ones. Uh, ones with only a Y, so like this one, it only has a Y. Those are horizontal lines straight across, so we just graph that. Seven at the top here. This is not going to be very good. Whatever. Um, and that's a solid line because it has an equal or has the the line underneath the inequality. This one has just an x and that's it. So that's an up and down line. One, two, three, four, five. So that's like this. Um, next. Uh, we can shade these two, these are easy. Less than means down and to the left, either, you know, whichever one you're going. So less than 7 means everything down here, down there, everything below that line. Less than 5 means everything to the left over here. So our, right now our, our box is down here. Anything in, the, in these quadrants down at the, you know, and this keeps going forever. And now we can graph the top ones, plus 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Negative 1 means down 1 over 1. So these will match up kind of like that. This is a greater than, this one. So now we're, we're even more restricting ourselves just to this area. Because originally, what we had before was anything less than this line and left of this one. The greater than here means now we're above here. So we're just in this little parallelogram, um, yeah, trapezoid, I guess, more like an upper. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm a math teacher. Um, this is a trapezoid, but we're in that shape. We have one more line to do. We got this one. So we start at four, one, two, three, four. Up one, over one. Generally speaking, like this. And then it's less than, so that's that's down. So this is our final area. So we're we're less than this line. We are less than this line. We are less than this line. Again, down down and then we're greater than this one so um, one thing I've seen people do too is after they after they draw the arrow they draw little arrows on it to signify that that's where it's going so this is just another way to do it um, you know I you know and then once you once you match up all the arrows And once you match up all the arrows, then you know where to shade finally. So like I was doing kind of light shading to shade. You know, that gets kind of confusing if you have, if you only have one color pen like I do. But um, you can do it. You can do the little arrows as well to help keep you on track. And see how all the little arrows are pointing in towards each other? That's how I know if this is the area that I need to be at. Um, as far as finding the, the vertices, or, you know, the corners, uh, if your graph is, is decent, you can just kind of look like this one is one two three four five I think it's five one and then I can check that uh, it's the one going down if I put five in here I get negative five plus six is one five and one is, is this one so that's five one so that's that one this one it should be one one two three four five This one, one, two, three. This one should be three and seven. This one should be five and seven. So I'm just counting the boxes because I, I did my graph, you know, considering I was doing this while <laughs> holding my iPhone. I did, I did this graph actually pretty well. So, um, and then you just test these in that, in that uh, equation. Looking at it now, two x minus three. And then you can just put all of these points in for x and y, and then whichever one gives you the most, or least, we want to minimize. That's why it's an L. So you want the least add, the least uh, difference. 
out of that. Yeah, I mean the shading on this is just not. It's just it's just pretty hard. Um, and we got four little arrows to all work with. But um, again, if you if you do the little arrows or if you kind of shade as you go, I think either one of those will kind of help keep it on track. And then if you make your graph, if you do a really good job of making your graph look decent, it makes finding the vertices super easy because you can just you can just look at the just look at it. You can look at the graph. So hope that helps. Uh, tweet me if you need more help.